Hey guys, what's going on? This is Tyler, and today we are going to be starting a brand new What If, and this is going to be somewhat of a revamp to my series of What If Majin Buu Train Before ROF. And the reason why I wanted to revamp this story in the first place is because I feel like my story writing skills and my overall quality has improved, so I actually want to revamp this series to make this one overall a lot better than the previous one. So anyways, with that out of the way, let's just get right into part one of What If Majin Buu Trained. Now, we start our story off right after the Battle of God Saga, and Boo is currently just upset at himself for not being able to even hold a candle to Beerus, and he doesn't want to be left behind in the dust like that. And so, he wants to be able to make sure Hercule is okay and protected, along with making sure that he's not left behind in the dust. And so, Majin Boo would actually talk to Hercule about training, and Hercule 100% agrees that Majin Boo should train. And so, because of this, Boo would start training near Hercule's house, and I feel like this would actually be a cool way of incorporating other characters. For example, Goten and Trunks could train with Boo and learn the levels of Super Saiyan and get a lot stronger. The reason why I wanted to do this specifically was because Goten and Trunks in Super have just not gotten any love whatsoever or recognition whatsoever. Goten and Trunks are always just left behind other characters. Even people like Piccolo have more relevance than them. And you know how Dragon Ball Super treats Piccolo. But anyways, Goten... Goten and Trunks just deserve a lot more love in Super, and so I feel like this could be a very cool way of incorporating that, by basically having Goten and Trunks train with Boo, and basically Boo, Goten, and Trunks can even have filler episodes together, of them just going around slapping boxers and getting ice cream, basically like the filler back in the Boo saga where it was just Majin Boo, but you can actually incorporate Goten and Trunks this time. Another character I believe you can actually incorporate is Piccolo. Reason why is because Piccolo is actually trained with Goten and Trunks before, and not to mention training with someone like Majin Buu would definitely be a benefit to Piccolo, and Piccolo would definitely see that. And really, you could just have Gotenks, Majin Buu, and Piccolo all training with each other. While that's going on, Goku and Vegeta would actually train on Beerus' planet, Vegeta actually getting a 6 month head start, and Goku would actually eventually join along with Vegeta in training with Beerus. And in general, all of these characters, except for people like Gohan, Krillin, and all the other guys, are just getting a lot stronger. The reason why I say Gohan isn't getting a lot stronger is because Gohan has actually given up on fighting, really, and is just trying to focus on his work. And at this point in the story, I feel like if I kind of and try and incorporate Gohan it would be a little bit forced for me I know other ways I've incorporated Gohan and other what ifs however they're a lot more justifiable than in this scenario so I'm just gonna have Gohan still be a weak fry until eventually we get to a point where we can actually add Gohan in and so he can get stronger and find a balance between fighting and working now, if it wasn't obvious enough, Goten and Trunks would actually just benefit from training with Boo because Boo over short time spans just gets exponentially more powerful. And Piccolo would also benefit from this because from time to time he would train with Goten and Trunks and eventually become a main training partner with Majin Boo and Goten and Trunks. And just overall, Majin Boo would be getting stronger and this would mean Goten and Trunks and Piccolo would be getting stronger. And I would say at this point in the story, Goten and Trunks have easily mastered the likes of Super Saiyan 2 and all the lower grades of Super Saiyan. And people like Piccolo have actually gotten so much more powerful to the point where people like Tagama aren't even a threat to him. Piccolo has just gotten so much more powerful and when the ROF saga arrives he's just definitely gonna be a monster. Now as for the main man himself, Majin Buu, Majin Buu has actually gotten so much more stronger compared to people like Goten, Trunks, and Piccolo, even Gotenks himself. Now keep in mind also Goten and Trunks have gotten a lot stronger which means Gotenks will get a lot stronger. But anyways, Majin Buu, I'm just gonna show you his full capabilities when the ROF Saga arrives. And speaking of the ROF Saga, Shenron would still be summoned and the Pilaf Gang and Sorbet would still get all of their wishes and Frieza would be revived. Now, like in the original as well, he would train for 4 months to ensure the death of Son Goku, and over the course of these 4 months, Goku and Vegeta would just be training hard on Whis's planet, while Piccolo, Gotenks, and Majin Buu would just be training with each other constantly. Now, I will say throughout these four months of just hardcore training, Gotenks and Piccolo have actually surpassed Super Saiyan Gohan in the ROF saga, which means that Gohan is actually falling behind, and there's actually consequences as to Gohan not training. And since Piccolo and Gotenks are training constantly, I would say it's not too impossible to say that these two would surpass Gohan. And Majin Buu is far above these two, so yes, that would also mean Majin Buu is above ROF saga Gohan. 
Now during this time period, I can actually see bonds formed with Majin Buu, specifically for Majin Buu and Piccolo and Majin Buu and Goten and Trunks, since Goten and Trunks are well children and Majin Buu has literally the persona of a child itself. I feel like they would get along just perfectly and Piccolo training with Majin Buu all the time, Majin Buu would just respect Piccolo as a fighter and would see him as a number one training partner, along with Gotenks. He would also see Gotenks as a training partner as well and as a friend. So over the course of this gap, Gotenks, Piccolo, and Boo would just all form a bond. Now this isn't just specifically for the four months before Frieza arrives, this is just overall when they start their training and through when they end their training. Now they're always just going to be friends with each other and always training with each other. Now with that out of the way, we can finally start the ROF saga. Now Frieza would arrive onto Earth, and Majin Boo, Goten, Trunks, and Piccolo would all sense an evil pressure. The four of them would immediately go on to investigate and as they're flying Piccolo would say how this key is familiar to that of Lord Frieza's. And Piccolo would briefly go over for Majin Buu and Goten and Trunks since they weren't there about the Frieza story and how Goku was the one to defeat him a long time ago but now he's back for revenge. At least that's what Piccolo is assuming and Goten and Trunks and Majin Buu do think Piccolo is a pretty smart guy so they actually do believe him at first and now they are going to get ready for battle. And I believe Goten and Trunks would take Piccolo's words very seriously and so before they even meet with Frieza's face they actually fuse into Gotenks beforehand. Anyways Piccolo, Gotenks, and Majin Buu would eventually arrive on the scene along with Gohan and everyone else from the original timeline that participated in the ROF saga which means no Chaozu and Yamcha like in canon. Frieza would see the M on Boo's belt and he sees Boo talking about himself in the third person and then Frieza would ask who is he and Majin Boo would just scream out Majin Boo, which Frieza would remember the stories of his dad talking about Majin Boo and Frieza takes this as an opportunity to display his newfound power. Frieza would challenge Majin Boo and Majin Boo would smirk and proceed to power up and Frieza in reaction to this wouldn't waste any time and take himself straight into the final form. Frieza in his final form would rush at Boo and Boo would try and counter Frieza Frieza's charge with his own charge attack, and Boo would manage to overpower Frieza and send him flying into another island. Boo would then say how the Z Fighters can handle the weak soldiers while he'll handle Frieza himself, though he would say it with horrible grammar because you guys know it's Majin Buu after all. Anyways, Majin Buu would dash towards Frieza and as Frieza barely manages to recover, Buu would just already meet with Frieza's face and Buu would proceed to punch Frieza and Frieza is sent flying into the air. Frieza decides to push Buu back with a death ball so he can maybe use this as a distraction to power up into his golden form. And Buu would actually stop Frieza's death ball, but it's already too late for Buu and Frieza is now glowing in an empowering golden aura. Golden Frieza is born and actually his distraction worked. Anyways, Boo seeing Golden Frieza and how Frieza is just on a completely different plane of power now, Boo actually smirks and now he's actually excited, and he would proceed to power up into his 100% state and rush at Golden Frieza. Frieza would react to this by trying to kick him away, but when they both cast their attack, they both clash at even speed and power. Boo and Frieza proceed to get in a melee clash for a little bit, and as this is happening, Piccolo, Gotenks, and Gohan make quick work of Frieza's forces, so fast that even Ginyu has no time to change bodies with Tagama. We will say that Piccolo actually kills Tagama in this timeline because he's been training with Boo and Gotenks, and we will also say Shisami and Sorbet are dealt with by Gotenks and Gohan. Anyways, with Boo and Frieza clashing with each other with even power and speed, Frieza would be getting weaker and weaker as time goes by, which allows Boo to beat Frieza slowly but surely. The fight would end with Majin Boo turning Frieza into candy and eating him, eliminating the threat of Golden Frieza once and for all before even Goku and Vegeta arrive on the scene. Frieza is dead, and after this, Goku and Vegeta would get the news about Frieza on Earth thanks to the Oracle Fish, and Vegeta and Goku would arrive on the scene thanks to Goku's instant transmission mission but when they arrived they already would have gotten the news about Boo's victory and so Goku and Vegeta don't even have to deal with Golden Frieza which means no time reverse by Whis, no Frieza destroying Earth the first time and Vegeta dying, no introduction to Super Saiyan Blue in the ROF saga, a lot of stuff doesn't happen but thank god it didn't happen because the original ROF we got was really something else and I definitely believe that this version of the ROF saga is way better. So, actually, you guys can actually comment that in the comment section below. Who did it better, Tyler or Dragon Ball Super? Leave that in the comment section below. But anyways, that would conclude part one of this series, along with the ROF saga. And in part two, we will be covering the rest of Super, like the Universe 6 saga and the Goku Black saga and the Tournament of Power. 
Now, if you want those arcs actually covered in part 2, you guys have to get this video to over 1,500 likes, and part 2 will be guaranteed. Anyways, with that out of the way, ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you guys for watching the video. Be sure to hit that like button, comment, share it with your friends, and also, if you're new, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell, just in case you guys don't uh, want to miss any uploads of mine. And with that out of the way, I'm going to get up out of here. Peace out. Thank you guys for watching.